Hello friends, so welcome to the City Channel Videsh. So today I'm going to tell you about the urgent PhD positions because uh, the deadlines are going to over in May and, so, and few of the deadlines are over even in like uh, in the April itself. So you need to apply as soon as possible. So first like the two PhD, PhD positions at Alto University of Finland and you can see like this PhD, these PhD positions are these are basically related to two, two topics, right? So these PhD positions uh basically related to the mechanical engineering uh, because you, you must know some numerical methods and physics or mathematics but basically it doesn't matter like uh, in which discipline you have the degree it doesn't matter in electronics or mechanical but you must know like some numerical methods like uh, some simulations so you must know some high level programming language such as matlab or python right and experience with open form but please remember it what this is the eligibility criteria it does not mean that you need to fulfill all of them because uh, but if you have some uh, good knowledge in numerical simulations and matlab and python you still can apply right and uh, because how to apply so uh, because i will also provide the description in the description i will provide the link direct link so you can provide directly and you need to have a motivation letter cv all certified copies right <clears throat> so please remember that if your certified copies are not in English or Finnish or Swedish, so you have to translate in the English or Finnish or Swedish. But so proof of proficiency in Finnish, Swedish or English, right? If the applicant is not a native speaker of them, you understand. So it, it means like if you know the English, right? So definitely you can apply, but you have to show the proof and proof. If you go through the documentation, what I already mentioned, like you, you can go through the like my previous videos about how to apply for PhD, how to get funded PhD. There are big, big videos you can go through. So uh, for the English eligibility criteria, you can have like the one certificate from your university, like okay, that your education throughout your education was throughout in English, right? And maybe you can have some certificate also, for example, IELTS or other certificate. So you can go through my previous videos about these eligibilities, like how to prove your uh, language competence, right? And you need to submit copy of your master thesis and two important publication. Please remember, do not need to submit the master thesis and publication separately. You need to compile in one PDF, all of them, right? Yeah, and salary is around 2,500 euro per month. Yes, so please remember the deadline is 27th of May and you need to apply as soon as possible, okay? Yes. And if you need any, my help, I'm already in Finland. So if you need any help, like, okay, how to like uh, apply or this, whatever the problem, you need to understand some technical points of like, so you can ask me, you just need to leave a comment and I will definitely help you. I can, we can arrange a call or, or like the, uh, through the Zoom link, we can talk. So, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So here are the other two PhD positions, basically. These are related to the ultrasonic dynamics, right? Because I also did my PhD in ultrasonic signal processing. So this is related to the ultrasound. Okay, this is also at Alto University. But please remember, it does not mean that you should have like a degree in ultrasound or only in physics. You can have a degree in electronics or engineering or physics, whatever, right? in mathematics as well but yes you have some knowledge like related to the acoustic acoustic means the sound processing or whatever but this is not mandatory please remember so if you think okay this is ultrasound or something it doesn't matter you have to apply you fulfill eligibility criteria you have the master's degree in physics or engineering right so you should apply but yes, you should know a little bit like numerical or experimental work. You can show like, okay, your ma master thesis, or if you have some research article, you can also submit a code uh, with it. Okay, so how to apply? Again, I will um, I give you the link, direct link, so you can apply directly in the description box. And uh, so motivation letter, you must have and how to like uh, for example, prepare a very good motivation letter. You can also go through my video because how to get perfect motivation letter you can check my sub videos like you will find the motivation letter and if you need a sample copy of perfect motivation letter i can provide well so these are all the and again the salary is 2500 euro per month right there are two phd positions well this is very good if you need any help because i already have the knowledge in this field i basically okay so well this is the phd position in the field of wireless communication this is in the germany 
right? So, you know, like this is related to the engineering, the communication and sensing. So you sh- can have the master degree in electronics, communication, computer science or whatever. But yes, you should have little experience in wireless communication and protocol development, okay? You are familiar with BATLAB. Familiar means not expert. Please remember this. If you think like, okay, you should be expert. You should have like a lot of experience in matter. It's not like that. You should be just familiar or, or similar tools like such as uh, VHDL, right? Because if you know some programming, VHDL is not a very tough language. You can just maybe two or three days if you know some programming you two and three days you can just have the basic command because they ask just the familiarity they are not asking about the like expertise so please remember this most of the students that don't apply just after checking the eligibility criteria please apply well but apply smartly please check my videos how to apply how to prepare proper documentation okay so yeah you have little background in computer science does not mean that you should have the degree in computer science. Please remember, degree, you can have an engineering degree or even you can have the physics degree, you can still apply. Okay, so how to apply? I will, uh, you can check in the description box. The link is already provided. But how to prepare a CV and all for this academics, you can also check like my previous videos, okay? And motivation letter also. So this for this position, the last date is 24th of April, right? And this is this PhD position also in the like Institute of Material Mechanics, uh, Germany. And yes, this is basically related to you should have some like uh, degree in the field of computer science or physics, material science or mechanical engineering, right? So basically, you must have some good programming skills. Definitely, here you have should have some skills. Not expertise, but you should have sufficient skills, maybe hand-on experience in C++ or GPU programming is advantages, but it is not compulsory, like it is not essential, right? So knowledge of, for example, microstructural evolution in metals is advantage. Advantages means not essential, please remember. German is advantages, not like essential. I do not post any jobs. I do not create any videos which requires the local language. So all like, for example, whatever information I will provide, the language requirement is only English. Okay, so good knowledge in the field of computer mechanics, computer computation, fluid dynamics, that is fine. But please remember, it does not mean that you should fulfill all the requirements. Nobody is perfect. You just need to apply if you have some like few good knowledge or few of them already cover, right? Yes. So how to apply? Okay. The link is already in the description box. Please apply as soon as possible. A list of references if you need, like, for example, the good references, if you are like, so you can also contact me. I can arrange if I know you or you are a good person, you are already a student. Well, so these seven PhD positions, you have to apply as soon as possible, right? These are also in the Germany. Basically, this is the Department of Chemical and Bioengineering of University of London, but the PhD positions itself is are not related to the chemical and bioengineering. You can see like this is it is related to the electrical, it is related to the mechanical or some like related to yes, few of them related to the chemical and bioengineering, but not all of them you can clearly see some related to the materials or mechanical engineering and simulations, something like this. So most of them like you can see like you should have like master degree in physics or related, right? Related means any engineering degree it does not matter electronics computers or whatever because you should have some programming skills yes and you should have some background in computational physics background does not mean that you should have a degree in the physics or computational physics right little background or means little study right but you should apply for this yes because there are seven phd position at the same university or same institute so requirements are the same and you have salary as per norms yeah here is the different PhD positions. It's not only the one posi- position and uh, different PhD position in the field of mixed analog, digital, VLSI, circuit design. So this is basically in the VLSI circuit design. So definitely the electronics and electrical engineering the students, do you must apply. And also the computer and physics are really related field who have little experience in the VHDL or signal circuits or analog or digital uh, ICs, they must apply. And if you have experience in the simulation tool, then you have a very good chance, I think, to get selected for this position. 
please remember yeah other other like uh, as a requirements are for example excellent communication skills and a strong english skills that are very basic requirements but please remember you must apply if you are from electronics background especially from the ic's or solid state physics or whatever well so requirement the how to apply are same i will provide the link okay so next is here is the next like oh, for example last date is 15th of april please remember 30 fully funded phd positions in the life science biochemistry and general molecular biology oh my god this is at one institute 30 positions in vienna austria and also with the collaboration with some other institutes as well so this is like for example the students who were like master students who are from the uh, field of biotechnology biology or molecular biology or cell biology biochemistry or bioinformatics whatever all should apply right but they ask like like for example six months research experience does not matter this experience uh, you occupy at university or in industry does not matter you have to show six months experience right so it's up to you how you show i cannot comment on this but you have to show but if you don't have right if you don't have but still you have some articles and all you should apply and you can just demonstrate in your cover letter Okay, if you cannot, please ask my help. I will definitely help you how to compensate this in your, sorry, not cover letter, motivation letter. And motivation letter, I already provided one video so you can go through how to like uh, create application or motivation letter. Okay, please remember for the very special like requirement here, the students who are not citizens of like EU, for example, European Union or Europe, European Economic Area, those have to pay 726 euro per year basically sorry per semester as a tuition fee but please this is also like here written that most of these students they can apply equal status so when you get selected for this phd you can immediately apply university will help you and then you don't need to pay this fee and moreover you will get the salary as well and on austria what i can say you will get not 12 month salary but you will get 13 months salary okay please understand this okay so so these are the closing date you must like uh, all like dates are mentioned here like so 15 april is the last date to apply but my advice is apply as soon as possible and if you need any help to prepare the documentation please ask me okay so Thank you very much. I just wanted to share this information because as soon as possible, because deadlines are coming. So if you need any help to prepare, for example, three or four days or five days, if you need to apply, ask my help. I am ready to help. Thank you very much. Okay. And see you in the next video.